Hey guys, welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find or deposit mainly cobalt because we're going to need that for a few things if we would like to progress. Last episode, we ended up making this. Um, I ended up having to split both of the episodes because something went wrong with the audio and I didn't know if I was going to get it back and I didn't want to lose the footage. So I uploaded it in two parts, but really that's supposed to be one video. So today we're going to be looking how to find cobalt, iron, and any other resources. Now, like I said in the last episode, no, I did not waste materials on this. This was used during creative tools. This should be scaffolding unless you really want to reinforce it, which actually I'm going to turn off creative tools just because I feel like I should continue the series like how you guys are actually playing. If you were to press V and scroll on Alt, we should be able to find some things. Now, if we look around, you would notice that my grass is off. If you would like to do that, click Escape, go to Options, Graphics, and turn both of these down. Like this, you will see no grass in your world, and it's a lot easier to find the ore deposits like this. Now, I see some speckled bits on the floor over there. That could be nothing, but I think it's worth checking out. So let's run all the way over there, and we'll take a look. Pull out your drill, and your drill will have an ore detector. As you can see, I have found gold. Gold will be useful as we progress onto the game, but right now we don't really need it. But, when finding ore deposits, it is best to make a GPS marker. To make a GPS marker, click on I and then go to the GPS tab. Over here we have all our GPSs, we have our respawn pod and an unknown signal which I said before can give you new skins for you and your drills. Click new from current position and rename it gold and you're good to go. You might want to take that off the GPS but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it on just so I know where I've covered. There are a few more speckled areas over here, which I can just see without even having to zoom out. This is still gold, and we're going to take a look if it's still gold over here, because there is another speckled area. Yep, all of this is gold. Let's check over here. Still a lot of gold under here. This is actually a big gold deposit. Now, we have found some silver. Silver will be useful, and let's create a GPS marker here too. I just want to go to the speckled bit. Let's zoom out once again and look for another deposit. Now I can see a small area over there where I can see some change in color in the ground. Let's head over there. Keep in mind that you have limited jetpack fuel, and I'm just flying over here just to make this quicker. Great, this is a perfect find, Cobalt. You are going to absolutely need Cobalt in this game. Cobalt is used for a lot of things, such as metal grids. Metal grids can make a lot of items in the game, including blocks and many more. If we take a look at heavy armored blocks, they take metal grids. But if we take a look at the small cargo container, they take metal grids too. Thrusters also take Cobalt slash metal grids, and this will definitely help us with making mining ships and much more. Now, as I said in the previous episode, hold down right click. Right click will get rid of a bigger area, but not give you the resources. If you're tired of holding, double click it. Now make sure you dig properly and out so you can get back up without having to waste any jetpack fuel. Make sure when you start getting close to your cobalt that you be extremely careful not to get rid of any of it. You can chip out a little bit, but try not to get rid of that much using right click, as it'll just waste a lot of cobalt. Right, I am extremely close to the cobalt. I'm just going to dig down a little bit more, and I should be there. That right there is cobalt. Crouch down, and hold left click. This, my friends, is cobalt. Pick as much of it as you can up, and it was a terrible idea to bring some gravel in that with me, but hey we've got some cobalt. This should stay here for a little while, so we may be able to come back and forth. But if I'm being honest, we're just going to take this much for now and we'll get back to this later. Right, I am back home. 
I would like to fill up my tank just in case it runs out. So put your hydrogen bottle inside the tank, and when it's filled up to 100%, take it out. As you saw there, quite a bit of ice was taken out, and it wasn't even the full container. So you're going to want to be very careful. Go ahead and throw your cobalt into the refinery along with any other resources you have on me, like I have some stone. And you might want to put all these in the assembler just so you have some space. We are making plenty of cobalt, and for this reason, we are going to be able to make a cargo container. So once again, click the G menu. You're going to want to search up small, and the small cargo container should come up. Take a look at what it needs. We're going to need some interior plates, small teal tubes, which is some things we have never built before. They don't take much, so you should be able to make them. You may need to do some mining, though. We're going to want to make four metal grids. As you can see over here, this is not enough power. If this does happen to you, you're going to need another wind turbine. Let's count along eight blocks. It'll have to be one, and then eight in the middle, and then another one. So it would be one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Now you're going to want to place one on and maybe even a little block there so it looks like it has some support. Just to make it look good, I'm going to continue it along here, but you don't have to. Since we know that it's eight blocks apart, we can start building. I'm not going to do it as high as that, just because that is a little bit high and it only has to be 8 blocks off the ground. I'm going to do 8 blocks from here, but it should be 8 blocks from the ground if I'm not mistaken. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now that we've got that done, we can place our wind turbine. We're going to need interior plates for the wind turbine, so let's get some materials and let's get to work. My energy is low, I'm going to have to go refill that. Now we can refill it over here and it'll be a lot quicker too. Ooh, there are some components here which I didn't even realize. Um, we'll pick those up in a minute. Let's go over to the refinery and put our stone in. Let's pick up these just so they don't despawn as they may become a little bit useful. And put them in the assembler. If you hurt yourself, just come over to the survival kit and heal up like this. I just slammed myself straight into the um, the foundation with my jetpack and lost a bit of health. Alright, I think I'm about done with all my mining for now. We've got quite a bit of iron in here, 400. Right, I've got plenty of iron and I am ready to start producing materials now i think it said we needed a few interior plates i'll make about 40 and we do have a few other components so i'm just gonna do this for now let's take this out so all the power will go to the assembler and let's take these out and we'll place the wind turbine now since i placed this in creative i did not get the achievement that i got for this these achievements i shouldn't really be calling them achievements whenever i place a block it adds more blocks onto it. So since I just built a wind turbine for the first time, if we take a look somewhere, it will unlock all of these eventually. We may need to build a solar panel, but I don't think that would be necessary. Now that we've got some more power, we can put our cobalt right back in there. We may need to make some more in the future though. Place your small cargo container down and we can weld this up. Now, if you did not find metal grids, cobalt can be hard to find at times but they're definitely around. So we use the trick I said, V and hold Alt to scroll out as much as you can and look for small speckled areas in the dirt. Splitzy taught me that trick and it has been very, very useful. Without being said, on the topic of YouTube, I'm going to be uploading every Thursday and Tuesday starting from next week. I will be uploading this Thursday if I can get this video out by then, but I will definitely try my best to upload every Thursday and Tuesday. Space Engineers is also not going to be the only series that I am recording. I will record some other games. Um, I did get Friday the 13th not so long ago. It's pretty old, but I think it would be fun to hear me get scared and that. But yeah, back onto the topic of 
space engine is. Your small cargo container has plenty of space to keep all your things in, so don't keep them in the assembler anymore, put them in the small cargo container. If we're going to be making a miner, we may want to use this, and if you do want to use it, I highly recommend you take a look at Splitsy's tutorial, but I am not going to copy it, so if you do want to build it my way, make sure you grind this down and we'll get to it in the next video. If you don't want to grind down this beautiful pod, don't worry, it's fine, you can go follow Splitsy's tutorial, but if you do want to take a look at mine, when the video is out, I will show you it before we actually end up building. Just because I know people like having a ship which they can like and then destroy. And can I just say, driving or flying in atmosphere is pretty difficult. There has to be enough thrust in each direction and you have to withstand the weight what's being held. Especially on a mining ship. If you're flying and you find a deposit and you start mining or drilling you may not be able to get out of the hole and maybe even suffer the consequences and blow up. That has happened to me before I followed Splitty's tutorial and created my own little pod just like his. And that is all for the video. Um, I'm not going to be recording any more about ore deposits and that. So just to refresh everyone, speckled spots above the ground just like the ones by the silver and gold deposits and by cobalt could be an ore deposit they could also just not be seen but make sure you hold your hand drill when looking for it just because it has an ore detector on it now that's all for me and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>